Hi, my name's Jack. I'm one of the owners of Arc, and I'm here with Sidekick Tool today to talk to you how to use your Sidekick Tool on the lower back. The techniques I'm about to show you can be used pre or post workout, depending on which feels best for you. Low back pain is something I see on a daily basis in the clinic and is often caused by excessive volume or intensity with deadlifts or squatting. The muscles around the lower back run vertically and are our extensor mechanism which keeps us on two feet unlike our mammalian counterparts. The most functional way to train these muscles is with programming deadlifts and squats into your workouts. However, with loss of form and high load or overtraining, these tissues can become tight and painful. To release the low back, start by rubbing some emollient of your choice on both sides of the spine. As you're doing this blind, you'll need to locate certain structures to make sure you're in the right place. In a seated position on the right hand side, use a C-shaped grip and you're going to find the iliac crest with your thumb. This is the highest bony prominence of the hip. And around two to three inches above that, you'll find the bottom rib and we're going to work between these two structures. Using the convex side of the bow, you're going to start with long broad strokes on that right hand side for about 20 to 30 seconds. Keeping it below about a 6 out of 10 on the pain scale or until you feel the skin start to warm up. You're not going to be able to visibly see the skin discoloration, so stick to these guidelines. For your first round of release, you can always go back for more. Once you've done 20 to 30 seconds on the right hand side, find the iliac crest and the bottom rib on the left and we're going to repeat this process over again. Now this can be a little tricky. I want to show you how a two person technique can work well. Girlfriends, boyfriends, training partners or coaches, this one's for you. Have your athlete lay in the prone position on a bed or a yoga mat and apply some a mammalian to the sides of the lower back. Using the convex side of the tool, make some back and forth strokes on one side of the spine for about 20 to 30 seconds. And then you can switch. Make sure you keep again below a six out of 10 on the pain scale, keeping an eye on the skin discoloration. We want redness, but if you start to see purple bruising, you've gone too far. An awesome progression from this is to repeat the same technique, but have your athlete lay in child's pose as it will put the erectors on a stretch. And like I said before, anytime we can lengthen tissues as well as releasing them will be an added be benefit to the athlete. If you're finding using a tool a little tricky, Sidekick has a vibrating release ball named the Fuse, which is an awesome alternative for low back release. It's essentially two balls molded together, which allow you to release both sides of the erector muscle complex without putting too much pressure on the spinous processes of the spine. Firstly, pick your vibration intensity by cycling through the power button and start by trapping the Fuse between the wall and the low back. Keeping a nice neutral spine, you're going to sit there and in a mini wall squat, work up and down. After about 30 seconds, slide up and down an inch or two to target other areas in the back. You can also do this line on the ground, which will give you increased pressure to those trigger points. Once you're all done, make sure to disinfect your sidekick tool. And if you want some more exercises to loosen up your lower back and other muscle groups, be sure to check out Sidekick's classes, where an instructor will walk you through a series of stretches to help you recover faster.